Praises to Ahaya, Ashur Ahaya, Bashem, Yeshaya, Walk or Walk. This is Shabar Israel. And today I want to talk about women teachers because I see this scripture here thrown around like a dirty rag. Everybody goes to Paul when it comes down to women teaching. And let's get to the bottom of this scripture because the Most High is not the author of confusion. But let's see what was really going on. The reason why Paul stated this. Go to first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 it states that exhort therefore that first of all supplication prayers intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty first of all the most high did not give men authority or power to lord over him the most high's heritage, as we stated, he gave men dominion. That means you set up a set of rules, the earth abide by them, which we know is the law, statutes, and commandments. Don't exercise authority like you are the most high, like Christ told Pontius Pilate. You have no authority down here unless it was given to my father from above. So the most high gives specific authority in certain seasons. Now, let's keep reading to see what Paul was stating he stated whereunto i am ordained a preacher an apostle i speak the truth in christ and lie not a teacher of the gentiles in faith and verity see he had to tell them that he's not lying why he's not lying that he's a preacher of the most of the most high through christ that he lied not because what paul was a pharisee he was breathing out hot Threats, as the Bible states, against those who followed Christ. What you had certain men that were not of the same faith, if you will, or the same understanding. Therefore, he went on to say, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Why? They have wrath and doubting because of the one that they call Jesus Christ, whom they slung and hung on the tree, as it is written in the book of Acts. Now, he goes on to say, like manner also that women adorn them themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which become the women professing godliness with good works. Then he goes on to say, let the woman learn in silence with, with all subjection. But I, but I, I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence for Adam was formed first then Eve and Adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived was in the transgression notwithstanding she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety first of all you had women that were more concerned about the outer appearance rather than the inner appearance their light within and then he goes on to say, let the women learn into subjection and, and in silence. But he suffered not a woman to teach. Paul, I'm sorry, but you are not the most high. You're not the most high. And I'm going to find out why. And it states that um, Adam was formed first and then Eve. Yeah, that's, that's correct. But Adam was deceived. But hold on, Paul. Satan was full of the transgression. First of all, which is a male spirit. Paul should have checked himself when he was writing this scripture. I understand that there are two types of bodies, celestial and terrestrial. Eve, being in the flesh, was deceived first. But nevertheless, everything in the spiritual realm manifests in the physical realm second. You never get to the bottom of this if you do not acknowledge the male spirit that rebelled in the first place. So, Paul, just because you suffer not a woman to teach doesn't mean the most high does it. He chose Deborah, a judge. What do you think she was doing? Just looking cute up there on the panel? She had to know the law, statutes, and commandments in order to be a judge and a prophetess. She could see future events. Miriam and the New Testament, Anna, she was one too. And don't think that she was just 80-something years old and the most high showed her something. The most high remembered you in your youth, so he uses you in your youth. So I don't want to hear this mess about Anna being of old age. Now, and then he says, women shall be saved through childbearing. Well, all women cannot conceive. 
So what, what does that woman have to do? It does not have that a bearing. Better walk in the law, statutes, and commandments. And that means you have to read and you have to teach. Now, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy and see what the Most High states. Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, and it reads, Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontless between your eyes. And ye shall teach, ye shall teach, or you shall teach them, your children, speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt write them upon the door posts of thine house, and upon thine gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, and the land which the Most High swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon earth. For if ye shall diligently Keep all these commandments which I command you to do them to the Most High your power, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto them. Then will the Most High drive out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. You see that? It didn't say man or woman. He said, you both. It's understood. You will teach your children. You understand me? You shall teach your children. This is the problem. This is the problem right here. The Most High is speaking. I don't know how Paul got to where he was at, but being from that pharisaical seat, he still had prejudice. But the Most High does not have prejudice when it comes down to his word. So therefore, women, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. You cannot listen to these Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, or even the flesh of men. You have to read the Bible as it is written and seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because if the blind need the blind, they both fall into a ditch. Thus said the Most High. He's not the author of confusion. Now you have some women that are out of order. The Most High gives out positions within the earth, not men. So whether a woman take it upon herself or a man gives out certain ordained positions by the Most High, it has to be approved by the Most High in order for them to give out certain positions. In the book of Galatians, I am ordained by the Most High. So man, no woman has no authority over what Shabar Yasharala can say or do. No role model in the house. Women, you open up your mouth, you open up that book and read. If you can turn on a TV, if you can read a magazine, you can open up the book of the Most High and raise that child and ask the Most High through his spirit to help you. Or else you're going to be forever learning. But you got the right one because Shabar Yasharala is going to open up the book and read. One thing my mom always told me, never let nobody make a fool out of you. And she said, do not be nobody's fool. I must say that I've fallen short because of my humbleness, but the Most High has been with me and his son and his spirit every step of the way. So therefore, I will continue on with my message, with Ishaya's message, with Most High's message. If women can teach their children how to use rude speech, how to open up that mouth and shorten their days upon the face of the earth, they can open up a book. And that was the problem. Paul, he still wanted to hold on to that pharisaical position by what lording over the most high's heritage. Don't think I don't know about Drusilla and Priscilla and the body. Eunice and all the rest of them. The, the mother and the Maccabees and the seven sons. Someone had to teach those children. When you raise children and you teach them, they become men, they become women learned in the Bible. So women, do not let nobody tell you that you cannot read the Bible and teach the word as it is written, especially in your home. And if the Most High see fit, he will ordain you like Deborah. He will make you a prophetess like Anna, Drusilla, and Priscilla, teaching the word. Miriam, a prophetess. Many more. Yeshua revealed himself to Mary Magdalene first. You know she had a message. She went and she was telling everybody what she'd seen and heard. And the resurrection of Christ it sickens me want to lord over spiritual beings that you were created from the dust 
and try to manipulate their words. But Christ said, surely these Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, false disciples, false prophets, men and women, they're going to have their reward as it is written. So Paul, I suffer you not to forget about the Old Testament as well because Christ said, lo, he came in the volume of the book. It's written of him. I suffer you to read what the Most High states. You teach men and women to your children that they may honor the Most High and now his son and his spirit upon the face of the earth. If you don't, well, as we can see what that result is, hands up, don't shoot. When all they had to do is pick up the Bible. I suffer you, Paul. And one more thing, as I was prophesying on the streets the other day, I said, these men go up into women houses. They teach them what they want to know, and they leave them with a blank slate. These women, because they have been told that Paul said he suffered a woman not to teach, they don't seek you out of the Bible and read. But Shabbat Yasharala seeks out of the book and read, study to show thou self approved. And as a result, these women are forever learning, silly, laughing, like over there in GOCC Jordan. And I don't claim to be self-righteous. I've fallen many times and come short of the glory of the Most High. But I'm falling, I'm crawling, I'm rolling. I'm back up on my feet again. And I don't care if I have to walk to the finish line on my knees. You best believe I'm going to get there one way or the other. And it won't be by somebody's own private interpretation of what they think. G-O-C-C -C and Paul. Mosiah is not the author of confusion, but of peace to the saints. How do you get peace? You teach the law, statutes, and commandments to men and women. Men and women teach his word. One thing the Christian church, they are incorrect, but you want to use one knee to bind them, but they know that the Mosiah used prophetess and teachers. They do everything in the reverse. But that's a shame. They got the understanding. More than these Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, and Sanhedrin. False disciples. False prophets. False prophetess. Men and women. Paul, that you should have addressed this to the issue. And not as women as a whole. And yes, Paul. Eve was deceived first. And then Adam. But that does not give you a right to lord over the most high's heritage. But let's see that this will end. Genesis 3, starting at the 14th verse. And the most high power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. I'm bruising the head of the serpent and his seed. We know Christ told the Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes that they were of their father, the devil, and the lust. They will do. Therefore, the serpent, physical serpent, is licking up the dust of the ground. And Satan has been cast down to hell where he will receive his judgment very soon. I suffer all to seek out of the book and read. Because the most tie is not no respect of a person when it comes to judgment. I would like to suffer you read the scripture, women, that Paul suffered that a woman not to teach on Judgment Day. Because there's no male, or you're not married, you better pick up the book and read. I suffer you not to go to hell. Those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Even at the very end, the serpent and these false so-called men and women of the Most High are trying to deceive me. Satan is wise. And so are these 
children of the world because they appear to be wiser than the children of light. But the Most High has given you eyes to see and ears to hear. So, those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Chicago will be the first to fall, and Jamestown, Virginia, the last standing. Thus saith the handmaid of the Most High. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say, Come, Yeshia, come, thy kingdom come. Amen. <laughs>